Hello Space Engineers, welcome back to Triton and my playthrough of the Never Surrender scenario. Wellington 6012 here, hope everybody is good. Uh, yes, so let's uh, let's get into it and um, actually just before I do that we'll show you I have spent a little bit of time off camera just doing some decorative type things. Um, things that I didn't need to bore you with on camera. So I'll put in these uh, uh, what do you call these things? The not the ladder, the neon tubes. Low. And uh, yes, so just a little bit of decoration and also functionality to hold the LCD screens up. And then I've also put LCD screens on each of these containers, as you can see. And using the automatic LCDs too. We have the progress bar of how full the container is, and then the inventory list of what's uh, what's in there. So there's our components in there. And I'm just making some more steel plate at the moment, because I think I'm going to use a bit of that today. This one, I've just got the one panel for both, um, so that's, uh, that's fine. The other thing is my sorting system wasn't working too well. This was causing components to clog up in this container here so what I've now done is I put this line in which goes through there's a sorter under there and this enables the components to get into the system uh, to get back into the uh, assembler if I choose to disassemble things so now I can get anything from anywhere except for in here but no I should still be or oh, maybe I turn that off hmm I thought I'd be able to get stuff out of there. okay anyway uh, that's all good don't need to worry about the oil container right so uh, what am I gonna do today uh, what am I gonna do today oh yes uh, I'll charge is what I'm gonna do we will see how we go but um, the first thing will be to get the drone sorted so that we can uh, get these unknown signals back to base now so what I'm gonna do as you can see I welded up sort of this this stuff here this um what do you call it floor that's right <laughs> floor uh, yeah and just put in some extra things uh, just got the icons off Hyphestus Prime for that so oh, actually yeah I need to show you that so uh, we turn that on and we've got the warning lights and then I've also got a safety sensor down there as well which will turn it off and then it's just got the the happy white light um, so yeah so that's uh, that's all good and yeah so what I'm gonna do is to start with let's um let's make some of these uh, interior walls so let me just get some parts so what I'm gonna do is make a bit of a control seat type thing so yes, we can fill those in there. Uh, we can actually fill those in as well. Uh, oh, and I did some sort of degradation, <laughs> decoration type things around here as well. So I think this is a bit more open than what it was. Uh, yeah, and I'm gonna put. I think we'll put another tower in because I sort of need to get rid of that one. It does uh, get affected by its proximity to other things. Yeah, so it's not, doesn't sort of go at 100%. Not the power's an issue at the moment. Um, yeah, let's let's not make it an issue. Let's continue to uh, produce it. And store it. <laughs> right, so we'll just work through this. Now, um, Hyphestus Prime, so that's all going well. Uh, today is a double episode with Hyphestus Prime and yeah the Mars rover so if you're watching this today when it launched tomorrow there should be um, the Mars rover cinematic playing so that's gonna release tomorrow that published that video uh, that Mars rover oh that just took an entire week into my life you would not believe how many hours I I'm gonna say wasted on it because yeah <laughs> it's uh, it was a bit of fun I learned heaps but yeah uh, hopefully the video makes sense when I 
I mean, it sort of makes sense to me, but yeah, hopefully for you, the watcher, the viewer, it makes a bit of sense. Hmm, but uh, yeah, learn heaps, actually. Um, really pushed the limits with uh, the complexity of that build. Right. Energy yes. low. Yeah, I thought I'd have a set by now, but okay, maybe not. All right. Yes, so yeah, bit of fun that Mars rover. Now I'm uh, working quite hard on the Mars lander. So, sort of similar to the Beast. A little bit smaller, but not much smaller. And yeah, that's uh, proving interesting as well. So, uh, yes, that will be releasing. Oh, there's an unknown signal. Okay. Um, right. Back to Trident, though. Enough about Hyphestus Prime. Uh, let's grab a connector. And, yeah, that will do for now. So I'm actually going to put that... Oop. Almost halfway. It's there. Hmm, is that where I actually want it? No, I don't think that is where I want it. <laughs> Sorry, standby. I think I want it. Out there. There we go. So we'll just uh, we'll plug the uh, oh I need to turn it on. We'll plug the give this a bit of a charge. We'll plug it in for a charge. And it's the battery that's the issue, isn't it? I think that's on. Just need to switch it on to auto. There we go. Right. There we go. Okay, um, right, so that's that, that's that. Uh, maybe we go for a bit of a fly and grab that unknown signal. Why not? Why not? Uh, thanks for all the comments, by the way. I've uh, had, uh, had a few after the last episode. Uh, Keith mentioned about the pistons that I couldn't grind down. Um, it's because the collision mesh is only for the piston head and the actual sort of um, the two blocks that make it up not the extension bit so uh, yeah that's why that was doing that makes absolute perfect sense uh, and also a good idea from James and he suggested that I put tires in the um, in the pit so yeah we'll um we'll give that a go i'll do well great that. skeleton suit oh don't know if i've got one of those hmm um let's just try and find this down um yeah so i won't do it here because I, I, I can't see myself actually putting much down that pit but certainly uh series two of i've this prime on mars i'll maybe have a grinder pit there and yeah i think that will be uh that will work well uh, it's a bit tricky hang on is just can I stop this in some way maybe put in like that yeah <laughs> yeah so lots of really good ideas um, coming through on the comments so thanks everybody for that and yeah Mars not far away so hmm this I know you've seen me um, 
grind down these before, but I won't speed it up. Or um, well, maybe it might just a little bit. <laughs> Alright, let's head back and sort out this thing. Alright, so, uh, need to grab some parts for some timers. Just little ones will do. Four of those. So we're going to put one, two, three on there. Cool. And here, I'm going to need three on here. So... Uh, okay, so sorry, um... Sorry, block, you're going to have to go. So, save you. Because they'll disappear properly. Sure enough. Hmm. And. There. Put those lights back. them sort of going at different offsets so that's 35 I assume this one's 45 that's no, not okay so 35 30 35 40 okay cool and they have right, what I might do is just put in a one of them upside down, never mind. So, um, what we need, okay, so let's engage the autopilot, alright, where's the other one? Shut down dock, yeah, I need... Phase one, and that's going to be phase three, and then this one here, which will be phase. Two. Cool. Right. So this um, this is how I set up sort of my auto docking. So. Okay. So phase one. Just one second. So. Uh, it's all that. Okay, so that wants to be phase three. <laughs> um, because I've already set it up. Go me. And that should be phase one. All right. So phase one wants to continue. OK. 
continually try and do its thing and it's going to try and connect to phase two which will be a trigger now and then we also need the connector to lock so what happens is that when this timer activates it keeps trying to trigger the one that's on the station and it can only trigger the one on the station when it gets a lock okay so then the one on the station once it gets I didn't need to change time on that but once it gets um, triggered then what it's going to do is it's going to stop the one from constantly repeating and then it's going to set number three going and then number three shuts everything down that's the plan so if I jump into it now and I know there are auto docking scripts and stuff like that um, but this is sort of the I guess the vanilla way that I do it so oh because I need to because it's connected remote and it's on recharge so it's on off recharge is on nine go all right so now if I get the timer and actually I might even just make that Two seconds yeah so we'll start that line ourselves up get a lock and there you go everything's shut down it's on recharge awesome right so now what we want to do is uh, here I want to put a chair to control it. Which, where are they? Here's one. So I'll uh, grind down this because we don't need that one anymore. There we go. Cool, cool. All right. And what I'll do is I'll actually put a window up there as well, so this will be sealed. Uh, we've got enough steel to do that. Yeah, we've got enough steel to do that. Cool. All right. Um. Yes. Awesome. Right. So uh, now we need to set up the sort of light path. Um. So, what we'll do is we will, first of all, we'll set up the launch timer on here. So, that one there. So when I jump into the seat, I can just hit that button there. And it all sort of starts up. And then I can just control that. And there you go. A little bit magnety, but um, that's all right. Okay, so now I need to jump into here. Okay, now while I'm in control, this is when I need to create the uh, GPSs. So GPS and this is drone retrieval dock and then we'll 
just um, just line you up just away from it and we'll do another GPS here drone retrieval dock approach cool and then I just need to see where I drop the yeah I sort of want to drop the the, the um those things that you unknown signals just want to drop them sort of back here like so and do a GPS for them unknown signal drop and then just go back a bit and up this just if it overshoots is sort of um, just gives you that little bit of uh, extra ability uh, GPS drone retrieval unknown signal drop approach and then we need the one up quite high which will replace that pink one that's there. Oh, there's an unknown signal now. Woohoo! Um, so, what was I doing? Oh, yeah. GPS base approach. Cool. Now, if we go into the remote, set up the autopilot. We'll just change that speed limit to 50 because it doesn't need to be quick. It'll it'll get back pretty quickly anyway. And then we will just add these add these to it. So first of all, we need the approach. Yep. And then the approach to the drop point. And then the drop point. And then the approach to the dock, and then the dock. And then what we want to do is at the drop, we want to set up the action of unlocking, and then that at the the base at the dock, we want to set up the action of phase one start that trigger it trigger it yep yeah, because it should already be in the right spot oh no we'll start it because then it'll just if it's wobbling around but it'll yep okay so uh, let us let us let us give it a test run so what we want is we're already in control what are you doing it's a bit annoying how they keep landing up in the mountain though <laughs> because they keep rolling away side
right. So, we'll just uh, get clear of the mountain. Like so. See, out on the flats, all I need to do is just um, get a bit of altitude. So that'll do. So the autopilot's on. And we'll see what happens. Fingers crossed. Just while that's coming back, um, might just get a battery in here. So they're five blocks apart. So, so far so good, coming in for the approach, coming in there, drops it, lines up, locks, shuts down, <laughs> boom, or well, not boom, it all just worked, and then I can just click on you, see if there's anything in there, no, nothing this time, I don't even really need to check the cargo container but I can some steel awesome just give it a bit of a bit of a shove into the grinder pit come on <laughs> easy peasy easy peasy peasy right let's uh let's weld this up so that is good news actually I should turn that off really shouldn't I Cool, cool. All right. So, yeah, I mean, it's tempting just to drop them straight into the pit. Um, but, of course, uh, yeah, then I don't get a chance to check the unknown signal. Right. Let's, uh, let's get this sorted. So I will get this tower in and, um, yeah, get that sorted. Get rid of the old one. So that's uh, that's that in now. Actually, I can just tidy things up and get rid of these GPS coordinates, and I can just delete them completely because they are locked into the remote control. So that's good. That's back and all charging. Right, and yeah, we've got our wind turbines happening. So that's good, 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 good. Right, what is next? So. I do want to build a hangar, but I don't think I've got enough resource. No, in fact, I've used all my steel. Oh, that could have been a bit of an error. Uh, hopefully... Okay, now I've still got some steel tubes. Yeah, hopefully there's enough there. Right. So, what I want to do is... I didn't realise I had screens on this side. Stand by. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, I'll just sort this out. And that, and just change it to two, number two, and number two. Cool, that's, uh, that's all good, and that needs to be whatever size font that is. Right. 
Awesome. Okay. So, uh, what I want to do now is um, build a bit of a mine shaft. So, there is our iron there. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll just put a block there. Right. So, what I'm intending to do here is I'm going to make a drill. So, we'll just, uh, yeah, we'll just lay down this as a bit of a foundation type thing. So we'll just lay this out and I'm gonna make the drill two pistons high. There'll be a pair of those, two pistons high, and then uh, four or five or six pistons down. So quite a big drill. And here it's gonna be part of the station, but once I've done my drilling, you once I've done the drilling, I will actually make it mobile. So I'll attach some wheels to it and then I can do these other other ones as well, the cobalt and all sorts of things. So, um, sort of gonna be roughly, roughly that high. So, yeah, because there will be, oh, no signal. We're gonna get that in a minute. Um, I think seven, seven white. Maybe. Yeah. Three. Oh, steel. Okay, so that's that. Um, don't want it snow coloured. <laughs> All right. So let's uh, get a couple of those. One there, one there. I could just use um, conveyor junctions, but we may as well make the most of the storage. And yeah, I will attach some axles and stuff like that, but just for now, all we need is this. So that's fine. And... Yeah, okay. Uh, those so one two two okay and what I might do is lay out some pipe work so I'll just grab that. all right so it will allow me, actually I'll just have to put in just some blocks down here, and that's the wrong one, and then the snow. So I'll just put those down there. Cool. So this will provide a connection from the drills to, to the um, ore containers which we can get ore into the containers through the valve that's through here or this is the pool so yeah that'll that'll get in there uh, initially when I'm making the plunge there'll probably be quite a bit of stuff go through but uh, once I actually have have it made then yeah it won't be once I have the the main pilot hole sort of drilled it won't be an issue so that and that that cool all right uh well i'll weld all this up and uh i'll go and grab that on that signal actually <laughs>
Okay, so let's get this uh, done. Awesome. Go. Fantastic. Right, uh, so now we need to put in our um, downwards sort of facing pistons. So, hmm, okay, uh, and we'll just get, uh, yeah, we'll load up these into a group, so we'll call that, we'll call this the drill rig, and these will be up. Just get them going a little bit slower. Oh, no, I'm getting them out of the way. And we'll share the inertia tension, which is. Uh, where is it? It's not there. I'm not missing it. It's not there. It's gone. Uh, okay. Um, it was there this morning. <laughs> it was there a couple of hours ago, because I, I used it on um, High Festus Prime. On on um, I was playing that this morning. Uh, okay. I guess that's been a game update. Um, because I did muck around with the physics of these sorts of things. Uh, with with the the update um, the heavy industry update but um, that we still had initial tension after that because I used it this morning so pistons drill rig up so if we do that we can actually get ready now so we'll get them uh, happening Cool. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, that's um, that's good. I'll just uh, do the sort of surround bit here, so I can get rid of those blocks out of the middle. So. Cool. All right. Um. Yeah. Okay. So that must be a thing. Uh, yeah, I haven't seen any change logs. I have to have a bit of a read of the change log and see see what the deal is. Okay, um, just let me put uh, put all these in, and yeah, I'll be back uh, back when it's done. All right, so what do we have here? Nothing. Yeah. Okay, uh, where is the Hmm. Come on. Ugh. Oh, well. I'm sure whatever's in there will come out. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Alright. So, uh, yeah, I don't know where that thing went, whatever it was. Okay, so there's our, um, drill. Uh, well, piston anyway, so let's, uh, actually, let's just get rid of these. And what we'll do is grab medium cargo container. Oh. So... And then the drills. So we're going to put a few of those on. As soon as I find them, there they are. Uh, I need some stuff. Hopefully, I've got enough components because I did run out of the steel tubes, the large steel tubes, and I haven't got any iron, so I had to um, had to repurpose some steel plates. Okay, so that's that, and also them. Put 
Punkt. Okay, okay. And same over here. I might I might just swap them out just it's a good habit to not use the junctions if you don't need to because um, it does slow down your game not that really the stuff that I'm doing here is going to slow it down a great deal but then you never know how big it's going to get so, and that's just because the the game can't sort of uh, decide where stuff's going when you've got multiple options, so just give it a single single option and it will um, won't have to think about stuff so much. Okay, so how wide we're we gonna make these let's get that one done first. There and there. Yep, we can come out another one. And yeah, but another one? No, that's going to be enough. What I could probably do though is actually just make the gap a bit bigger. We'll come back. Yeah. Oh. Where'd that come from? Oh. <laughs> Alright, so what if I do one, two, and then that, and then one, two, and then that. Ah, oh, that only wants to be one. Ah. Uh, stand by. <laughs> Because there's already one on there. Alright, so that, 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 one of those, and then that. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. And they are close enough apart. Close enough apart? Is that proper England? Hmm. Uh, they are close enough that they will. Yeah, they should, should get rid of everything. Alright, let me weld this up. I'll be back with you in a minute. Okay, so the weather has deteriorated somewhat. So, uh, never mind. So, let's uh, let's get this sort of happening. I've put these into groups. So, we'll turn you on. Uh, there's a little bit of a wobble there. Um, just get you up. To 0.5, and we'll just go with the one set of uh, one set of pistons at the moment. So we'll do minus 0 0.01. I think that would be. Would that work? Yes, that did work. Let me just extend this one a little bit. Get a little bit closer to the ice. There we go, that's made contact. It's quite jerky. Mm. Okay. Right. So we will need to keep an eye on the storage. Yeah, but that's okay. Um, now we have for power. Alright, I might just turn, since we've got heaps of ice coming in, I might just turn on that for a little while. Okay, so let's have a little bit of a think about the storm is making me realise that I need to get some shelter. So what I might do is... How am I going to do this? Grab some steel first of all. Steal on this one. And 
All right, so if I yeah, if I get the right color. feel about that yeah if I do that and I'll do the same around here it may be that I don't actually need these um, these blocks underneath and just get you like that like that and oh weather's gone that uh, we want that one there. Like that like that and like that. We need uh, what's that in there? Okay, so that sort of works. And we'll put a couple of you down there. And then for the window, need some girders. I need to put the window in my toolbar. So I think that one there will make it quite tall. So if we put you there, can we put them on that edge? No. Okay. What about? Uh, oh, we need a single one. Uh, window again. Okay, well they go in there, all right? Like that, and we put the no, we can't. Okay, what about if we? What about if we put a light in, just to uh, will that work? Can we put it there if we had the if we had the parts? No, it won't. Hmm. Okay. But we can probably do that on the inside. So what we'll do is we'll put you there. replicate what we've done down the bottom so that was that and then that was not that <laughs> try that one yeah okay that's cool and you there you there you there okay and if we just keep that sort of going um out this way one more block then I could put a put an antenna on top of there yeah all right let me weld this up and we'll be back in a sec all right so that's so good and I've just heard some uh, gravel start to be ejected so we must be just hitting Hitting stone, which is good, because we do need that iron. Uh, and we've still got plenty of room in there. And there's not even any ice um, stone going in there, because it's going straight in the refineries, which is good. Alright, how are we looking here? So, we could probably turn off that hydrogen container. 
hydrogen engine, I should say. It's cool. Shall we go and get that unknown signal? We're going to get that unknown signal, shall we? Hopefully it's not all rolling down the hill. It's quite high up. Hmm, it's on a bit of a steep slope. All right. Um, this could be a bit of a challenge. just to be parked there which is um, a little bit unusual I don't know how it's stuck to the stuck to the wall stuck to the side of the hill come on you can do it there we go just make sure I'm clear of the mountain which I am autopilot on alright so yeah, uh, okay, well we can weld that up, and maybe another one there, and there. Grab the components for another couple of windows. That's uh, that's pretty good actually. Yeah, and I can, I think I can put an antenna up on here. As soon as I find it, there it is. So we'll put you up on there. That'll take a bit of uh, bit of welding. Right, I'll actually add those components to the um, build list. What do we got in here? Oh, it's one of these flyaway ones. So we'll just very quickly sneak up on it. Yes. Yeah, it's got a um, got a sensor on there somewhere. Stuff, stuff is good. Come on, in you go. Ooh, doesn't want to go in there. Why are you not moving? I wonder if that somehow. Oh no, there we go. Just wasn't pushing hard enough. Come on, in you go. Oh, not me. <laughs> right, we'll just up that to 15 kilometers to be on the safe side. And yeah, okay, so that's um it's all good. So uh this is it's gonna reach still got still got um these pistons to go yet so where's our uh, iron still another 20 meters down but we've got 8 16 24 32 40 meters of push so that's good but i do want it to go quite deep yeah all right so let's uh let's turn those off Ooh. 
Try that again. Drill. And turn off the spinny thing. Alright. And yeah, I did have to manually transfer a whole lot of stone in there because it was sort of clogging up in here. Um, yeah, and it's still in there, but now now this this um, sort is pulling it out. It's um, starting to keep up. So yeah, it's just very slowly filling. All right, and looking good for iron. Awesome, 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 awesome. Okay, well, we'll just, um, we'll finish this off, this sort of, um, bit here, and then I think we'll call it a day. Now, what I'm thinking is, yeah, put a vent in. So we've got a vent in there. And I don't need it hooked up to an oxygen tank. It's, uh, we'll just be able to hook up to somewhere, somewhere here, or put a put an external vent on. Um, somewhere. Actually, what I'll do is I'll put I'll put it over here for now, just temporarily. Got to build all the parts, but we can get them from there. So that's good. And we need to set that one to depressurize. Cool. Might as well just weld this one up. And then I'll lay some conveyor tube under here. So yes, um next week. Next week. Big week next week. Big week this week. So double episode today. Uh, let me just give me some conveyor components. Oh, we're not going to. No, we don't. Okay. Need uh, do a few thousand of those. Uh, yes, so um, next week, uh, episode 6 of this um, survival series of the Never Surrender. And also, one year that this um, channel's been going. So uh, yeah, I'm going to have a little bit of an episode uh, before before I have the Never Surrender. So I don't know what, exactly what time's going to release, but um, just before episode six of Never Surrender releases. And yeah, got a bit of a channel announcement to make. So yeah, that's something to I guess look forward to. And um, yeah, there's uh, stuff stuff I've got planned. So yeah, I won't say any more about it than that. Um, tomorrow, if you're watching this on the day that it releases, tomorrow got the workshop video to go with the Mars rover. Uh, that's the one that you would have uh, seen this morning and. There. Uh, yeah, so that's um, a bit of a cinematic to go with that, and yeah, so and then midweek we've got um, Hyphestus Prime with, yep, that's good, uh, Hyphestus Prime, and we'll be starting on the Mars Lander. So yeah, busy, busy little period coming up for me. I've got lots of things to do and organise. That's all good. I'm going to use these doors, I think. There. So, and then I need some. Uh, let's so I put you there, just as a bit of a cover over that. And yeah, do I want? Yeah, I'll get rid of that. That's fine. And then, yeah, and then I need to put one, two, three, four of those in there. Some grills over the top. Well, I need to put 
some stairs in. So stairs there. Get the right thing. And that and that. Like so. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Let me just do that, and uh, yeah, I'll throw a wall in here, probably just temporary, and like that, put a glass window in there, as if I haven't got anything on board that I can make with that, I need some girders, and a glass window up there, yep. Alright, uh, let me finish that and I'll be back in a sec. Alright, so nice and warm in here. Haha, -ha. right on cue. We, uh, we have a bit of a storm coming through. So, um, yeah, good to be in here. So let's, uh, let's just go and grab that uh, unknown signal. There. Go go. All right. Despite the weather, we I think we can fly here. Uh, yeah, we'll just try and keep our altitude. Hmm. So yeah, as I say, I think uh, we'll make it a day there, and uh, hopefully you can join me again in a few days for Hypestus Prime and tomorrow for the workshop video for the Rover and I overshot that quite considerably uh, and yes next week for 12 month anniversary of the channel and a uh, bit of an announcement and it's uh, one of these roly poly ones okay no we're not going to do that um, yes, so uh, hopefully you can join me then, and uh, until then, let me just get in the right position, and we're there, haha, <laughs> stay safe out there everybody, have a good one.